Hey guys, we're back with another video and today we are going to learn how you can use WebP images in your WordPress website. You've probably seen WebP images on many websites today. Now these types of images are highly compatible and compressed. If you use WebP images on your websites, your WordPress site will be much, much faster. So in this video, we are going to learn how you can use those WebP images on your WordPress site, okay? We're going to use two methods. For our first method, we are going to use a plugin called Imagify. So we have logged into our WordPress website. So first, let's take a look at our site. We're going to click on visit site. And this is our site. We're actually using a starter site from Cadence. So let's take a look at the site. You can see it's a well designed site. It has a lot of high quality images. Okay, and it also has many pages. Great. Now let's get back to our WordPress dashboard. To use Imagify, first we have to install and activate this plugin on our website. For that, we're going to hover our mouse over plugins and click on add new plugin. From here, we're going to search for Imagify here. After searching for Imagify, you can see that it has appeared over here. You can see the name of the plugin is Imagify, optimize images and convert WebP and AVIF compress images easily. So AVIF is also another uh, type or format of your image, but we're going to use the WebP image. You can see that it has over 900,000 active installations and it has over 1400 ratings. So you can understand that this is a very popular and useful plugin. We're going to click on this install now button and wait for the plugin to install. And after it's installed, we're going to click on the activate button. All right. So the plugin has been installed and activated. It's going to directly bring you to this section. Okay. Your plugin section, installed plugin section. And from here, you can see there's a notification over here. It says, welcome to Magify, the best way to easily optimize your images. So the first step is create an account. The second step is enter your API key and the third step is configure it. So first we have to create an account. Okay. So since it's free, we can just click on this button and we can create an account. So let's go ahead and do it. It says, let's get you started. Enter your email to get an API key. So we're going to enter our email address. Okay. We have inserted our email address. And now it's telling us, congratulations, your account has been successfully created. Please check your mailbox. You are going to receive an email with an API key. So we're going to click on OK. And let's go ahead and check our email inbox. And we have received an email from Imagify. Here we have to actually confirm it and set our password by clicking on this link within the next 30 days. And then, um, it's also giving us our username and here is our API key. So we can actually start optimizing our images using this API key, but we're going to go ahead and actually confirm our password and create our Imagify account. So once you're here, you can actually optimize images. Um, if you select this tab, you can upload your images over here. And then after the conversion is done, then you can download it from here. Okay. You can also optimize pages. You can just paste in uh, URL or if you are using CDN, you can click over here and paste the CDN and you click on this launch optimization button to optimize the page. But we want to use the API key. So we're going to hover our mouse over here and click on API integration. From here, we're going to copy our API key and we're going to head back to our WordPress website. Now we're going to click over here and paste in our API key. Now we are going to click on connect me button. As you can see, our API key is now validated. Now we can configure the Imagify settings to optimize our images. We're going to click on the OK button. Now we are going to go to the settings. Over here, you can see some of these settings are already applied. So let's go through them still. So Imagify has been added to your WordPress dashboard in the settings section. You can see it's over here. Now in the general settings, you can see there are three options, which is the auto optimize images on upload. 
This will put your Imagify on autopilot and what will happen is whenever you upload an image, it will automatically be optimized. The next option is the backup original images. Original images will be backed up, nothing will be deleted. So it says keep your original images in a separate folder before optimization process. So all of your original images will be kept in a separate folder on your server. So they will not back it up on their server. It will be backed up on your own server and you will have access to your original images. And the next one is lossless compression. By default, Imagify optimizes your images by using a smart compression to get the best compression rate with an optimal image quality. But if you're a photographer or focus on the quality of your images rather than the performance, you may be interested in this option to make sure not a single pixel looks different in the optimized image compared with the original. So if you are a photographer, you can enable this lossless compression, okay? But for our purpose, we are going to keep it disabled because we want the smart compression, okay? We want the best compression rate with an optimal image quality. Next, we're going to scroll down and here is the optimization settings, which is the next gen image format. Here's the off tab, AVIF tab and the web P tab. So we are going to keep web P selected. Here it says select web P for high compatibility, AVIF for superior compression. Please note that the generation process will start automatically after saving the settings. We're going to select the web P format. And here next it says display images in next gen format on site. So if we enable this, you can uh, choose the picture tags, which is preferred. If you're using a CDN, you can specify the URL over here. Next, if we take a look at the media library, it says resize larger images to maximum 2560 pixels. Here it says the new width should not be less than your largest thumbnail width, which is actually 2048 pixel. Resizing is done on upload or during optimization. So we are going to set it to 2048 pixels. Now we are going to scroll down and here you can check the file optimization. All right. So we are going to leave all these selected and here's the display option. I want this awesome access menu on my toolbar. Now, if you have this enabled, it will add an Imagify quick access on your WordPress admin toolbar. From here, you can go to the settings, go to bulk optimization, watch the documentation and basically look at your account settings. Okay, now we are going to save changes. Okay, then we are going to click on save and go to bulk optimizer and it's going to bring you over here. You can see that 0% is optimized. Now we're going to scroll down and click on Imagify M all. So here it says all images greater than 2 MB after resizing, if any, will be optimized when using a paid plan. If we talk about the pricing of Imagify, you can see there are three plans and we already know that there's the free starter plan, which gives you 20 MB per month and approximately 200 images, unlimited websites and max upload size is 2 MB per image. The next plan is the growth plan and it's $5.99 per month. It allows 500 megabyte per month and approximately 5,000 images per month, unlimited websites and gives you $5 per additional gigabyte. And it allows unlimited upload size. And the final one is the infinite bundle, which is $9.99 per month. It gives you unlimited images, um, unlimited websites, no extra cost and unlimited upload size. So this is the best plan as you can see. Here are two types of plans, the monthly and the yearly. If you want to purchase the monthly plans, you can choose it from here. If I click on over here, it will switch on to the yearly plans. And here it also says the first two months are free. So in the yearly plan, the growth plan is now $59.90 per year. And the infinite plan is $99.90 a year. And the benefits are the same. We're not using a paid plan, we're using a free plan. So let's see what happens. We're going to click on Imagify M all. And it says you have 100% space credit left. So it says, please be aware that optimizing a large number of images can take a while depending on your server and network speed. So we're going to click on start the optimization and you can see that it's working. Okay, so our file optimization is now complete. Here you can see uh, it's 100%. You optimize 100% of your website's images. And here it gives us the percentage that we have managed to save. 
Um, so 47%, that's the size you saved by using Imagify. And 36 means that we have optimized 36 images. Now, if we scroll down here, we can also see another statistics. It says um, optimized file size 10.57 megabyte. Original file size was 19.65 megabyte. Okay, so that's a huge improvement. Now, if we go to the image library, and here's another thing that we can see you're missing out. Use the list view to optimize images with Imageify. So I'm going to click on this switch to list view. All right. So now it's going to show us some statistics. So here we have all the images. So if we take a look at this particular image, here it says that we have saved 88.93%. The file size is now 3.22 kilobytes. If we click on this view details, it will show the original file size. So originally it was 29.13 kilobyte, and now it's only 3.22 kilobyte. Overall, 76.74%. Then if we'll take a look at the second image, it was originally 41 kilobyte, and after optimization, the new file size is 24.12 kilobyte. Like this way, all the images on our site have been optimized. For example, this was 250 kilobyte, it's 142 kilobytes only. And the other images, it's saying that these are already optimized, so we do not need to do anything else. So Cadence actually uses very optimized images on their starter templates. As you can see, some of these images don't require optimization. All right, now let's go to our website and check out some of the images. All right, now let's click on this image and let's view it in a tab. And here you can see the image is WebP. So it has converted the file to WebP image. So you can see that everything is now working perfectly. Okay, so let's get back to our dashboard. And that's our one method of using WebP images on our site. For our second method, we will be using Jetpack Boost. So there's another plugin called Jetpack, which has a lot more features. But Jetpack Boost only gives you the image optimization and site optimization features. So what we're going to do is click on Add New Plugin. And over here, we're going to search for Jetpack Boost. You can also notice that Jetpack is over here and it has over 4 million active installations. It's very popular plugin. So let's search for Jetpack Boost. And here is Jetpack Boost. You can see the plugin is from Automatic and it has over 300,000 active installations and it is compatible with our current version of WordPress. So we're going to click on the Install Now button to install the plugin. Okay, it's installed. Now let's click on the Activate button. All right, so as soon as it is installed, it's going to bring you to this page. Um, so it has two plans over here. You can start for free or get boost. It's normally $26.95, but with the discount of 48%, it's now $13.95 per month for the first year billed yearly. So you get all these features. With the free version, you do not get the auto CSS optimization, automatic image size analysis, historical performance scores, uh, dedicated email support, but you do get page cache and you get image CDN, image guide, defer non-essential JavaScript, concatenate JS and CSS. It's okay, we will be needing only these features. So we're going to click on start for free. And if you want these other automation features and advanced features, you can get Jetpack Boost. Now it's calculating our mobile and desktop score. As you can see, it calculated our mobile and desktop score. So our mobile score is 83% and our desktop score is 96%. There's also a historical performance review over here. If you want to expand it, you can get it, but we are not going to get it in the free version. Okay, so let's close it up. It also optimized our critical CSS loading. And if we scroll down, there's the cache site pages, different non-essential JavaScript, concatenate JS, concatenate CSS, image CDN, image guide. So all these options are there. We're simply going to enable image CDN. Here you can see it says, deliver images from Jetpack's content delivery network. Automatically resizes your images to an appropriate size, converts them to modern efficient formats like WebP and serves them from a worldwide network of servers. Great. Now if we visit our site, let's go ahead and visit our site can see our images are loading much faster. Okay, now we had to log out of our WordPress admin dashboard to show you how this works. And 
if we click on an image, right click and open image in a new tab, you can see here there's something new io.wp.com so this is being served from jetpack cdn and here there's something that you can see it says dot jpg but if we try to download this image by right clicking on it and let's say save image as you can see that it's saving as webp format okay and if we download this and now let's open the folder. You can see that this image is a WebP file and it also has reduced in size, which is 19 kilobyte. So that is how you can use Jetpack Boost to make your images in WebP format. Now, if you're using the original Jetpack plugin, then the method will be a bit different. So let's go ahead and install the main Jetpack plugin. Over here, there's the original Jetpack plugin. We're going to click on the Install Now button. Okay, it's installed. Now let's click on activate. Now it's going to direct me to this page. From here, we have to connect our user account. So let's click on this button. And from here, we're going to click on connect your user account button. And it's going to lead me to this section. And here I will have to click on approve. Jetpack is successfully connected. So now our site is connected. Um, we're using the free version, so we won't get all the features, but this will still be enough for our image optimization. Okay, now we have returned to our site. Now let's hover mouse over Jetpack and click on settings. And from here, we're going to click on the performance tab. And from here, we are going to enable the site accelerator under the performance and speed tab. Once you enable this, the speed up image load times and speed up static file load times both will be enabled. Okay, so once these are enabled, you already get the WebP features. Okay, so now let's check our website. Let's click on visit site and we can see our images are loading perfectly. Now let's right click on this and click on open image in a new tab. And if we hover our mouse over here, we can see that the image is being served from the Jetpack CDN. Now let's try to download the image and see if it's in WebP format. And you can see that the image is in WebP format over here, okay? So that is how you can use Jetpack to turn your images into WebP. So that brings our video to an end. We have learned how you can use WebP images on your website, which is far more compressed and increases the performance of your website. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. So thank you for watching. See you next time.